How often do you hear of market crashes? I bet. Not very often. Unless during severe economic declines or natural disasters, which are rare in both cases. Last, when there was a huge deficit in the market, was during the coronavirus pandemic last year. In the week of February 24, 2020, the Dow Jones and S&P 500 lost 11% and 12%, respectively, marking history as the biggest weekly declines to occur since the financial crisis of 2008. The Dow continued to decline until by 9.99% on March 12. It was the largest one-day drop since Black Monday of 1987, followed by an even mega plunge of 12.9% on March 16. However, unlike many market crashes, whose recovery takes years to amend, the stock market rebounded to its pre-pandemic threshold by May of 2020. Behind that rapid recovery was an enormous amount of money, with the Federal Reserve slashing interest rates and adding $1.5 trillion into money markets and Congress passing a $2.2 trillion aid package at the end of March. So what are the best stocks to buy during a huge market meltdown? Today's list of stocks includes great picks. Here is a look at the best stocks to buy with high dividends when the market crashes. These stocks may not look promising, but they are ones to buy hand over fist if the market crashes. PayPal NASDAQ PYPL is one of the ultimate online payment platforms that saw rising demand in the face of the coronavirus pandemic last year. For its fiscal 2021 mid-quarter, total payment volume increased by 40% up to hit a total of $311 billion. PayPal has nevertheless added 11.4 million new active accounts, making its revenue spike by 19% for the first quarter. The business has additionally generated a free cash inflow of about $1.1 billion over this same period. It looks like PayPal will continue booming as it doubles down on its buy now, pay later. BMPL Campaign The company recently launched a BMPL service in Australia, serving close to 9 million customers. PayPal has plans of expanding its offering in Germany. Its $2.7 billion acquisition of Played, a BMPL player in Japan, helps the company top up its offering in the country, which is the third largest e-commerce market in the world currently. Brookfield Renewable It is very much certain and for sure that Brookfield Renewable and YSE, BEP, and YSE, BEPC, stock may be pulled down should the overall stock market plunge. This was the case last year during the COVID-19 pandemic-fueled sell-off. However, a stock market crash can never change the company's excellent growth prospects one bit. Brookfield Renewable takes its place as the leading producer and distributor of renewable energy. It deals in hydroelectricity, solar, and windmill facilities across the world such that when combined can generate power exceeding 21 gigawatts. Renewable energy is high in demand thereafter the company will most certainly continue to thrive. Several countries and larger corporations are much committed to aggressive carbon emission reduction within the upcoming years. Brookfield Renewable, however, is profiting tremendously from this increasing demand. The company is counting on it, with its development pipeline, including another 31 gigawatts of capacity. Brookfield Renewable's dividend stock currently stands up close to 3.2%. That yield could increase quite a bit during another market meltdown, making this a must-own dividend stock. Innovative Industrial Properties NYSE IIPR Innovative Industrial Properties dividend stock is at 2.56%. This is much lower than where it was last year despite increasing its dividend yield by 21% within the last 12 months. The company's yield is down because the stock is up so much, reaching close to 80% during this period last year. Innovative Industrial Properties is an ideal growth stock to buy and hold during a market downturn. A pullback in Innovative Industrial Properties' share price would boost the company's dividend yield up. More importantly, the company's growth would not be interrupted regardless of what the stock market does. Innovative Industrial Properties gives real estate capital to companies in the regulated cannabis market. Cannabis operators sell their properties to IIP which then leases the properties back to the operators. This gives the cannabis companies much-needed capital. It in turn generates a steady revenue stream for IIP. 
it won't be too difficult for IIP to continue growing robustly. The company currently owns 7 to 5 properties in 19 states. IIP's growth opportunities include finalized additional sale leaseback transactions in these states, as well as expanding into other states that have legalized cannabis. Johnson & Johnson NYSE J&J Not many companies have stood the test of time like Johnson & Johnson since its inception in 1886. Johnson & Johnson has stood still and thrived many wars, countless recessions, and multiple stock market crashes. Perhaps the biggest credit for Johnson & Johnson is its diversification in a sector with solid growth potential. It is the largest healthcare company in the world with a multi-billion dollar business spanning consumer health, medical devices, and pharmaceuticals. Around 70% of Johnson & Johnson's total revenue comes from products that hold a number one or number two global market spot. Close to one-fourth of its global sales are from products that were launched from the past five years. Johnson & Johnson is a dividend king with a streak 59 consecutive years of dividend increases. This streak is likely to continue for a much longer time to come. A major market pullback would present a great opportunity to buy one of the most stable stocks around at discount and with a higher yield. ABV NYSE ABBV ABV is one of the few companies that offers a juicy dividend yield of more than 4.5%, and you can depend on the company's dividend continuing to flow and grow. ABV is only one dividend hike away from joining the group of stocks known as Dividend Kings, S&P 500 members, with at least 50 consecutive years of dividend increases. In the face of a market crash, stocks of the big drug maker would likely fall as they did within the coronavirus fuel sell-off last year. That happened, the company's dividend would yield even higher. Interesting enough, ABV stock could probably be among the first to rebound due to the strength of its underlying business. To be sure, ABV has certain uncertainties. The company's top-selling drug, Humira, faces biosimilar competition in the United States beginning in 2023 with sales almost likely to drop down. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, has held up approval decisions for JAK inhibitor Rinvoc in three indications because of safety reasons raised by Pfizer's post-approval clinical study of Zelgens, which is also a JAK inhibitor. Also, Rinvoc has been approved by the FDA in curing rheumatoid arthritis. AbbVie, on the other hand, remains confident that it will pick up additional approvals. The company also projects a swift return to overall sales growth after a temporary dip in 2023 due to an anticipated sales decline for Humira. However, AbbVie's dividend will not be in any jeopardy, and in the event of a market crash, it would be very much attractive. Enterprise Products Partners NYSE EPD Enterprise Products Partners was one great dividend stock during the stock market crash last year. The midstream energy stock has spiked since the big sell-off of 2020. As a result, its dividend yield has also dropped quite a bit, however, it still stands at a mouth-watering 7.6%. Could Enterprise Products Partners be in trouble over the long run should the use of fossil fuels drop? The company arguably has a killer advantage with its heavy focus on lower-emission natural gas, natural gas liquids, and lower sulfur crude oil. Furthermore, Enterprise Products Partners is looking forward to opportunities to extend into carbon capture, hydrogen, recycling, and renewable fuels. These will not get anywhere close to supplanting the company's core business. However, Enterprise is committed to an all-of-the-above approach that is suspected will pay off investors for a long time to come. Verizon Verizon is another good company excellent for dividend investors. Consumers and several other businesses tend to maintain wireless and internet services during much more challenging times. Verizon should also benefit as the advancement of 5G, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and the Internet of Things will continue regardless of the stock market's performance. This should quicken growth in Verizon's burgeoning network as a service NAS, business. This data subscription service can link in power systems such as self-driving cars, edge computing networks, as well as remote sensors. The efficiencies brought by this technology should appeal to businesses, even if their stocks face near-term challenges. 
This technology has not yet led to a massive tailwind for the top and bottom lines. Revenue of $67 billion in the first half of 2021 increased 7% from the same period in 2020. Also, while the income of $11 billion surged 24% over the same time frame, lower expenses and a pension reimbursement gain of $1.3 billion drove much of the increase. Nonetheless, the $2.56 per share annual dividend rose up for the 15th consecutive year, and new buyers will earn a cash return of 4.7% from the payout. Also, while the stock has dropped by 8% over the last year, the P.E. ratio of 11 reduces the odds of further significant stock declines. As stockholders collect dividends, Verizon could eventually move higher as the tech industry turns more to NAS. Many stocks sink whenever the stock market itself crashes, but there is a golden opportunity for dividend investors. When that happens, you get the chance to buy quality stocks at a much lower and affordable price with a good future prospect. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching.